Once upon a time, in a quiet little neighborhood nestled at the edge of a sprawling city, there lived a girl named Sisu. She resided in a house that was a masterpiece of architectural design and interior decor. Her home was a haven of elegance, filled with tastefully chosen furniture and adorned with exquisite artwork. It was, without a doubt, a place of great beauty and comfort. Sisu had always been a quiet and introverted soul. She had an aura of mystery about her, which only added to her charm. Her long, ebony hair framed her porcelain face, and her dark eyes held secrets that no one had ever been able to uncover. Her solitude was not necessarily by choice, but rather a result of her crippling fear of the world beyond her front door. It was a fear that had taken root in her heart at a young age. Sisu had experienced a traumatic event in her childhood, one that had left her with deep emotional scars. She had withdrawn from the outside world ever since, finding solace and safety within the walls of her impeccably designed home. Her days were spent in a carefully orchestrated routine. She woke up early, her eyes opening to the soft glow of the morning sun filtering through her bedroom curtains. She would prepare a simple breakfast in her well-appointed kitchen, savoring her coffee as she gazed out of the window at the world she had long ago shut herself away from. The rest of her day was filled with activities that required no interaction with the outside world. She painted exquisite canvases, losing herself in the strokes of her brush, and dabbled in the world of literature, devouring books that transported her to far-off places. Occasionally, she would play hauntingly beautiful melodies on her grand piano, the notes resonating through her home like a melancholic symphony. But as the years passed, Sisu's solitude began to weigh on her. Loneliness seeped into her soul, casting shadows across the otherwise flawless tapestry of her life. She yearned for human connection, for someone to share her world with, but the fear that had ensnared her heart remained a formidable barrier. One crisp autumn day, as the leaves outside her window turned to shades of amber and crimson, fate intervened in the form of a delivery boy named Aiden. He worked for a local courier service and had been assigned to deliver a package to Sisu's address. Aiden was a young man with a warm smile and a friendly demeanor. He had a knack for making people feel at ease, a gift he had developed over years of interacting with customers. Little did he know that his encounter with Sisu would be unlike any other. As Aiden rang the doorbell of Sisu's beautifully adorned home, he couldn't help but admire the elegance of the place. He waited patiently, balancing the package in his arms, until he heard the soft click of the door unlocking. The door slowly swung open, revealing Sisu, standing there with a mixture of curiosity and trepidation in her eyes. Hello. Aiden greeted her with a warm smile, trying to put her at ease. I have a delivery for you. Sisu hesitated for a moment, her heart pounding in her chest. She had not interacted with a stranger in years. But something about Aiden's friendly demeanor put her slightly at ease. Taking a deep breath, she managed to utter, Thank you. Aiden handed her the package, and as their fingers brushed against each other, he noticed the tremor in her hands. It was a subtle sign, but it spoke volumes about the fear that gripped her. You're welcome, Aiden said gently. Is everything okay? Sisu hesitated once more. Then, in a small voice, she replied, I... I don't go out. I can't. I'm afraid. Aiden looked at her with understanding in his eyes. He had encountered various people in his line of work, but he could sense that Sisu's fear ran deep. Instead of pushing her further, he decided to offer a lifeline. 
Well, how about this? Aiden suggested, with a reassuring smile. I'll stop by every once in a while with deliveries, and we can chat for a bit. No pressure, just a friendly face at your doorstep. What do you say? Sisu was taken aback by Aiden's kindness. She had expected him to finish his delivery and leave, but here he was, offering to be a source of human connection in her life. Over the following weeks, Aiden kept his promise. He made regular deliveries to Sisu's house, and each time they would talk for a few minutes. He shared stories of his adventures, his dreams, and even his own fears. Slowly but surely, Sisu began to open up. She spoke about her love for art and music, her dreams of traveling the world, and the tragedy that had confined her to her home. Aiden, in turn, listened attentively, offering a sympathetic ear and a comforting presence. He never pushed her to step outside her comfort zone, but encouraged her to take small steps at her own pace. As time passed, Sisu's world began to expand. She ventured out into her garden, her once-forgotten sanctuary, with Aiden by her side. Together, they tended to the blossoming flowers and the fragrant herbs, breathing life into her once-neglected outdoor space. With Aiden's unwavering support, Sisu gradually overcame her fear of the outside world. She began taking short walks around her neighborhood, sometimes holding Aiden's hand for reassurance. The world that had once seemed so daunting now held a glimmer of hope and possibility. One day, as the sun dipped below the horizon and painted the sky in hues of orange and pink, Sisu made a decision. With Aiden by her side, she stepped beyond the threshold of her home and into the world she had long avoided. It was a small step, but it felt like a giant leap for her. Aiden watched her with pride in his eyes, his heart swelling with the knowledge that he had helped someone break free from the prison of their own fears. Sisu's journey was far from over, but she was no longer alone in it. In the months that followed, Sisu continued to explore the world with Aiden by her side. She discovered new places, met new people, and rekindled her passion for art and music in a world that was no longer limited to the confines of her home. Her house, once a symbol of isolation, became a symbol of her transformation and newfound strength. And as for Aiden, he found in Sisu a friend like no other a connection that transcended the boundaries of ordinary interactions. Their unlikely friendship was a testament to the power of kindness and understanding, a reminder that sometimes all it takes is a caring heart to help someone find their way back to the world. In the end, Sisu's house remained a beautifully designed and furnished sanctuary, but it was no longer a prison. It was a place she returned to, not out of fear, but out of choice. A choice made possible by the unexpected friendship that had blossomed on her doorstep. If you liked this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe our channel as well as press the bell icon.